Today I'd like to talk about mindful leaders. This is the start of a new series. I want to explore why it is important for leaders to be mindful. Mindful of themselves, mindful of others, and mindful of the environments they operate in. Matt Tenney described a simple mantra for inspiring effective mindful leadership. Cultivate peace of mind and go about doing good. If we as leaders go about our business not being mindful of others, ourselves and the environment, we are operating on assumptions that are not necessarily true. Whilst most of us don't deliberately ignore what is happening around us, or even within ourselves, our busy lives, deadlines, and the inevitable sea of emails, DMs, and calls makes us so reactive that we don't take time to consider the ramifications of our actions. This can manifest in us not managing ourselves well, misunderstanding of others, and a failure to see the environment shifting and changing, which it is inevitably doing. However, if we get this right, and we are mindful of others, ourselves and the environment, then we maximize our potential, the potential of others, and can navigate the environment to our advantage. When we get too caught up in the busyness of the world, we lose connection with one another and ourselves, according to Jack Cornfield. I believe we need a level of self-awareness in order to be able to be aware of others. It starts with us. We can all be busy for a reason, for a season. And life is like that. It has its seasons. There are times where we do need to go beyond our normal capacity for work. But being mindful of our limitations, cognizant of our strengths, and being present, aware of our surroundings and our state of mind, enables us to operate at our potential best. As it is with us, so it is with others. We should be mindful of our team, both as individuals and as a collective. This allows us to connect at an individual and group level to leverage the collective potential of those we have authority over. There are inevitably those in authority over us as well. Our mindfulness should extend also to them, to serve them and help them achieve what is important to them. Equally important are other stakeholders in our work or endeavors. Partnerships built on mutual respect, almost in a symbiotic relationship, are productive and sustainable. They lead to better commercial outcomes. Matt Tenney wisely said, the primary job of a leader is to serve, empower, and inspire greatness in others. I think that describes it very well. The mindful leader is also mindful of the environment that they operate in, especially as the environment is changing rapidly as is, and is truly dynamic. Whilst that used to be an arguable variable, 2020 proved that change is often thrust upon us. The saying, today's best will not meet tomorrow's challenges has never been truer. Being mindful of trends, changes and alternatives and having a constant check on what's happening internally and externally allows us to recognize change. When the environment changes, needs change, which provides opportunities. Being mindful of our environment allows us to challenge the status quo in a way that is constructive given a dynamic environment. Something that's easy to say and incredibly hard to do, especially in larger organizations where defending the status quo has become a way of life for those wedded to old models. Never has it been truer to say that if you don't innovate, you'll die. Business models are failing faster than they ever have before, and the digital revolution rolls on. In this series, we'll be covering, covering these three aspects of the mindful leader's focus, self, others, and the operating environment. I'll leave the last word here to Amit Ray, a true leader in mindfulness who said, mindful leadership keeps you cool and energetic in any situation so that you can make the best possible decisions. Thank you.